What was David's message to Wei Yutani at the ending of the Alien Covenant novel? So this was a scene that was in the novel but left out from the movie. Now with the movie being released on digital, there are plenty of extra scenes to watch. But one specific video called Advent goes deeper into what happened between Shaw and David. It starts with David opening a transmission to Wei Yutani. This takes place after the events of Alien Covenant and David explains what happened to Shaw and also a little backstory to the engineers. He goes on to say they found paradise but it was seen as a rotting planet. So he wiped this world clean of all life as a gift to her. He wanted to build a new second Eden but she refused and was killed. David then saw her as the perfect specimen. He wanted to make her more than human, evolved in some way. This scene actually shows David cutting up her body and using her organs for his masterpiece. And at the same time, he kept a picture of Shaw and her ID tag, which seems like he formed some type of attachment towards her. He also mentions that people on this world was a very religious type. They believed that sacrifice would wash away their sins, but these people were just like David, creators. There's a part where he says at some point in time, they banished the wolves, which might be a reference to the large version of the engineer seen in Prometheus. This might be the reason why this people was seen to welcome the juggernaut ship when it returned to the world. Perhaps they were banished and were only allowed to return when they completed their mission. My theory is that they were supposed to wipe out the human race and then return home. This is somewhat backed up when David mentions they wanted to undo their creation, which could be human beings. So these people could be seen as the creators or leaders, and the engineers in Prometheus could be the destroyers who are sent out on missions. David then took their secrets for himself and used the black goo accelerant for his experiments. His research uncovers that it's designed with advanced nanoparticles that operate off an algorithm of evolutionary computing, and every organism it comes into contact with would create something new. David even experimented on the wildlife that was on the planet, but they gave him unsuccessful results. So then he turned to Shaw's body and created the Overmorph, which is the alien egg. And he even goes on to say that he designed the species to be very aggressive and adjusted their survival instincts. Now he also has control of the Covenant ship with 2000 colonists that he could use for experiments. But he still has one thing to perfect, a queen. This is when we get a glimpse of Daniels who is still sleeping. This could indicate he plans to use her as a host to create the alien queen. He also left detailed illustrations and charts to help anyone unlock his research. The video ends with David saying, if anyone continues his work, this species is going to be set loose to rule the galaxy. So now, Will and Yutani has information on how to create the xenomorph. Although it's unclear if David will release any aliens on a planet by his own decision, or if he's still following orders from Will and Yutani, so we have to wait for another movie to see what happens on Aurigai 6. This possibly is what starts Will Newtani's obsession with the Xenomorph species and how they want it for the Bioweapons Division. But since they don't have access to the Black Goo Accelerant, they try to acquire the species that's already created by David. So what do you think about this information? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. To see more content around the Alien Universe, make sure you subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos and I'll see you in the next video.